Recently I've updated Contact Form 7, and there was a notice just above here that was mentioning that I had to validate my contact forms. When I pressed it, it took me to a page that confirmed the contact forms validation. Now, once you press that, you might notice that your emails are still having troubles. If you go to the contact contact forms, you'll see that there are two configuration errors found. Now, if I click in here on the contact form one, I can click in mail and see where these resolution or these configuration errors are and how to resolve them. So right now it says that the field has syntax errors and this field can be empty or it can be empty based on input. So to resolve this one, we know that because subject can be empty, we need to make it a required field. So someone actually has to type something in there. To do this, we just hold shift and then the number eight to create the little star. And when we have that, it tells the text has to be entered or else this will not be considered valid. So if I press save, we'll see that when I go to mail after it's saved, that it is now only one error. So the reason it's showing this error is because we cannot send emails from someone else's email. Since 2016, we've seen problems with bouncing emails. If you try to send an email from an email you don't actually own, it asks you to verify the credentials. If you can't do that, then it considers the email what they call a spoof. Now, a spoofed email will be bounced from most email providers. So if you try to send an email that's spoofed from someone else's email, it will not actually end up in your inbox because the inbox considers it as spam. So to prevent this, we send the email from ourselves. And within the additional headers, we have the reply to that says your email. That way, when we press reply, it replies to their email. And then if I press save, we'll see it's all sorted out. And now we've got no errors in our contact form and they should work perfectly.